creatures. Um, <laughs> I know I kind of did a disappearing act for two weeks, and it's really unfortunate because I was sick the whole time, uh, pretty awfully, and I was finally starting to get better. And the only reason I went to the doctor's office was because I called to get a refill on my prescription, and they were like, we haven't seen you in three years, so you have to come in for that. So I went in, um, because I was sick anyway, and I needed to get in on a Saturday. So they only do, like, emergency visits then, and I was like, well, this is good enough. I go in and, and uh, they do a strep test, and they're like, you have strep. You have strep. So <laughs> I've been on the antibiotic. I just finished it yesterday, and I'm feeling a lot better. But I couldn't even really, couldn't even really talk that well for a while. So I guess I should have noticed that it was probably strep, but I didn't. But now I'm all better, so it's good. But it's been tough being sick and with my schedule like it's crazy. This is everything is color coded, right? So there's just blocks and blocks and blocks of stuff. And and that's just the that's just the front. There's there's the back. That's the evening. Um <clears throat> It's just a, a lot and and my internship, we've been really really trying to prep because we're going to be going into the high school, New Brunswick High School to do our uh, civic education kind of uh, we're doing the election simulation first and that's going to be the end of this month so we're really trying to prep and in the meantime we've just been trying to register as many people on campus to vote as possible so there's been voter registration drives um, getting flyers out to all of the dorms um, flyering at the bus stops uh, and I've been the one in charge of preparing the PowerPoint slides that we send to the RAs because they can then print them out and put it on their boards so it's just it's just been a lot and Ruck Makers is still trying to get off the ground we have besides our e-board two or three regular writers and that's it so we're really trying to get advertising up but the only problem with that is that our uh, faculty advisor we need a signature from her to get all our paperwork in. Uh, so then, once our paperwork is in, we're a legit club, we can request money, um, and funding for, you know, advertising things th that we need to do to get our name out. And this is good for the, our advisor. She published a book, and it's really, really taken off. Which is great for her, but she's really, really difficult to get in contact with. So I think I might need to find a new faculty advisor or something. I don't know how to do this. I've never, you know, run a club before, so... I'm just like <laughs> in really deep because so there's the internship uh, the club I have my six classes and then I also still work at Rutgers University Press I'm a swim instructor and now I'm also doing writing tutoring which is really fun <laughs> I really really do enjoy it but it's it's kind of driving me crazy a little and I don't get to do fun things which is why I didn't really mind making your belt, Heather. It was uh, it was a good distraction. I wish I had had more time. I couldn't make it functional, but I'll, I'll get it in shape. So, this is the belt, and and I tried making sure that the you know the lines are are really clear, clear cut, and and organized looking. Cause I kind of tend to be messy with with painting things like that. Um, and it, it looks really cartoonish, but I thought that would be appropriate for Teen Titans. So if my artistic interpretation is not what you had in mind, I'm really sorry. Um, and I left you a voicemail about trying to come pick it up sometime. So just, you know, give, give me a call and I'll, I'll really try and, and work out my schedule, even though Fridays are, are pretty crazy for me. But I'll get it to you because it wouldn't be awful if you didn't get it and I'd worked on it. <laughs> but I'm sure it'll be good. You guys will be great, Teen Titans. Take lots of pictures. I know no one, no one who's going to be there is really a picture taker, but, but do, do take some because I would really like to see it. And Sunday, for anyone who's going to be there on Sunday, is like Spider Man Appreciation Day, kind of. So, if they're giving out free Spider-Man things, I really want something, because I love Spider-Man. He's so funny, and and kitschy, in like the best way. And his puns are <laughs> so... Oh, I love his puns. Um, I'm tired, guys. <laughs> Exams are coming up. I bet, I bet you guys are feeling it, too. 
Um, I'm not really looking forward to that. I had such a good idea for a vlog today that I didn't get a chance to do. I'm going to work on it over the the weekend, but I don't want to tell you that yet. It's not like the crazy weird story. It's a little more sentimental than that. Oh, that was a weird one. That was fun to draw for, though. Um, oh, and another thing. Um, since I've been sick, I haven't been able to play my saxophone because, you know, you have to wet the reed with I guess, you, you know, it's it's in your mouth, and there's all the all the germs are there. It was awful. Though I did learn a really interesting fact. Apparently, saliva, is, it's like, I can't remember the statistic, but it's very unlikely to get someone else sick. So, you know, kiss as many people as you want, but don't sneeze on them because they'll get sick almost instantly. It, the, the difference in the rates was crazy, and I was wondering why that was, because... I know that airborne is clearly the difference, except that the germs are still in the the saliva or the mucus or something, right? Or or are they physically in air particles? I don't really know uh, on the like atomic level what the difference is between the two, but clearly there must be something because you can just go ahead and kiss tons of people when you're sick if you want, which I didn't get to do. Oh well. I'm gonna end it there because I kind of rambled. I usually don't rant. It's not really my style, but thanks for listening.